Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My I just, channel, I just wanted to come on here really quickly and just do a quick video. Um, I just kind of had, oop, sorry, little baby. I just kind of uh, wanted to do a, a video on one of my favorite, favorite, favorite uh, plants right now, and that is the Monstera Peru. Um, let me just grab my notes on this baby look at this girl honey this is literally one of my favorite plants so this is what i wanted to talk about today in just this video specifically my monstera peru um it is known as the monstera castanea peru sorry don't come at me but um, yeah, she is literally one of my favorite plants. I bought her at my local nursery, Green Thumb Nursery here in San Marcos. And when I saw it listed on my local Facebook group page, I jumped, ran to the store really quickly because I was like, this was one on my, one on my wish list and I just had to get it. Um... So how much was this plant? So this Monstera Peru was, get ready for this, $19.99. It was $20 plus tax for this Monstera Peru. I know, if you don't believe me, there is the price tag. I was trying to take it off yesterday, but I don't, I don't really care. Um, and she's grown. She is so, so happy. Um, I will show you where I have her and I feel like I finally found the place for her. So one of the reasons why I love this plant so much is the gorgeous leaves. Um, she might have a little, just a little dust. Hey, we're not all perfect plant parents. Um, I did have her and my mistake was having her up here in this corner, which um, got too much of harsh sunlight and it did burn one of the leaves. This is one of the leaves. It burned the other one, but it fell off and it's just gotten bigger. So I learned from that mistake. So do not put this monstera in a place where you're going to get harsh sun um this is afternoon sun this is in my uh bedroom window so i believe this is the south window i will show you where i have her because right now she's happy i have the humidity on so that's another thing that i noticed that um she likes humidity um i feel like that's why she's so nice and big and i see a lot of people have her trailing or i mean not trailing um have her in a stake like in a um moss pole stake or something um i'm happy how she is um obviously she's blooming out she's like creeping up and i think that's how they are in the forest or wherever they are in peru and I feel like she's happy like that. So I'm going to just keep her like that. Um, I will show you where I keep her in the corner of the other side of my bedroom. And I feel like she's happy there. The sun doesn't touch anywhere near there. So I don't have to worry about the leaves getting torched like the beginning. Don't make sure there's no sun hitting this plant because your plant is going to get torched. Um, and I mean, look at these beautiful, beautiful leaves. Like they're so, so nice. Like that's, if you see, look at this one, this is amazing, beautiful. If you see any other videos here on YouTube, everyone mentions the texture, just how, you know, the vibrancy of the green is just so beautiful. And I love it so much. It's literally one of the reasons why everyone loves this plant. Um, light, she gets bright light. It even says it right here on her care. If anyone wants to see how to take care, I never took it out. I just kind of left her there. Um, 
yeah green thumb uh when i went and bought her i think they only had um five or six in stock and i think i even remember one of um the girls that was working there she said that she got one immediately she bought one because she knew i mean if you know you know you know um water so i i kind of am forgetting about I kind of forget about this plant when it comes to watering I kind of I don't let it completely dry out but I definitely don't over water it um I just water it watered it uh yesterday so she's and it's summer right now it's the beginning of July and I live in San Diego so she's um uh it's just have to keep the uh dirt moist um and I've had her for I think like four or five months already so I will try to find a picture of when I bought her and she has grown a lot so I'm even thinking about um, taking a few cuttings out and propagating it because I heard that it's super easy to propagate this and um, I want to keep growing this plant because I love this plant so much um, in general. It's one of my favorite Monsteras. Um, I know everyone loves a Deliciosa Monstera Deliciosa. Trust me, I love her too and I have a few of her, but I just feel like this one is one of, uh, one of the underrated Monsteras. But that's why I had to make a video and just show how gorgeous my Monstera Peru is um, and how happy she is. I will definitely do a, this is July, August, September, October. I can even do like a four or five month update or in December. Um, I Like I said, I live in San Diego, so I don't even know how big she might get. I'm not gonna fertilize. I'm gonna just let her do her thing. So um, they gave, she came in this hook and I'm just not even going to bother even touching her or anything. Like I said, I might even do a few clippings just so it doesn't keep pressing against my wall. And you'll see right now when I show you, um, it's, it is kind of pressing against my wall. So like I said, I might clip a few just so they don't break because as you can see, the leaves are so, so nice. And um, I don't know if you can tell, but this one, is a little um it developed a little like curved and that's because it developed around this uh wire and um that's just it, it, it developed around it so i'm surprised it didn't crack it's it, it that's just how it is it's just like turned but they're not supposed to be turned like that they're supposed to be nice and flat like this so um i don't want that to happen when it's pressing against my wall um other than that i would say this is literally a very, very easy to care for um, Monstera or houseplant in general. Um, the humidity, I usually kind of keep it um, on when I'm at home. I don't really, I don't have a timer on this humidity. I probably should get one with a timer, but for the most part, I usually keep the humidity on when I'm at home. Like I said, I live in San Diego, so it's super dry over here. And just when I leave, I turn it off and I just kind of have my windows uh, and doors closed. But for the most part, as you can tell, she is happy. Um, and like I said, I can very much do um, a few month update on her because I got her uh, probably in the beginning of the year for sure, in like January, February. So it's been a few months and she's grown. So um, let's just show you where I keep her. So you kind of have a better idea um, of where she's at and I will show you where she was before and now I have um, one of my variegated string of hearts up there and she's she's happy so let me show you so right here is my I believe it's my south facing window and right here is my string of bananas um, I have some string of pearls, variegated string of pearls, and I have to do a little video on that and do a little update. I have here a few um, 
string of ruby and string of pearl. They're looking a little sad. But anyways, the whole point is showing you where I had the Montserrat Peru right there, which is my variegated string of hearts now. And she is doing so happy. And my Montserrat Peru is over there. So as you can see, it gets pretty good light. Right now, I would say it's almost like five o'clock. So I would say like it's right there. Um, it's not horrible. It does get pretty good light. I'll pan out kind of so you can see what I'm talking about. So it kind of does get that really nice filtered light. Um, I'm obsessing with my very good string of hearts right now. But um, that can be definitely another video I can do. And yeah, so I hope you guys like that um, information on my Monstera Peru. Uh, if you guys can go ahead and subscribe and like my video and comment. Um, and maybe I can do a few month update on my Monstera Peru and let you know if I do propagate it and give you an update on that as well. I'll see you guys soon.